All right, all you little monsters, Lady Gaga's newest single has reportedly leaked online, and Mother Monster is speaking out on it. What's up, you guys? I'm Drew Dorsey with Clever News, and there are many ways to handle situations like this when a song is released into the world before its scheduled time. You can get angry, or you can go with the flow. Take a guess which approach Lady Gaga took. Stupid Love is supposedly Gaga's latest single that just appeared on the internet yesterday with zero warning. A snippet of the tune was allegedly leaked onto social media, sending fans into a frenzy, naturally. Apparently, the single is Gaga's next radio hit with big vocals and an electric dance vibe. Now, the song was quickly taken down as Gaga's team tried desperately to stop the song from being spread. They removed it from viral Twitter posts and blogs as best they could, although we did hear that if you look hard enough, Stupid Love can still be found. But instead of releasing some long, drawn-out statement about the song being stolen and leaked, Lady Gaga decided to have a little fun with the commotion. She posted this hilarious stock photo on Twitter, writing, can y'all stop? We're sure on some level Gaga was probably a bit pissed about it, or at least her team is, but this sort of thing really does happen all the time. Just ask Taylor Swift. In 2014, the singer was so worried about having her first ever pop album leaked early, she refused to give early copies to members of the media. But is it true you're being really secretive about it because you're worried about it getting like... What's so the I, word? Don't even want, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even, I don't trust technology. I don't want to talk about leaks. It freaks me out. I'll have a meltdown on the show. Well, Taylor must have broken down because later that same day, her album was released onto the internet a full three days before its scheduled release. Talk about a coincidence. And Taylor couldn't catch a break because that same year after the album debacle, Yahoo accidentally released the highly anticipated music video for Blank Space. You know, the one where Taylor embodies the crazy girlfriend persona the media had thrust upon her over the years. The video was accidentally released the day before Taylor was supposed to debut it on Good Morning America. Oops. But this time, instead of scrubbing the internet, the singer just went with it and released the song onto her own YouTube page. The video leak didn't make the slightest difference because Blank Space has more than 2.5 billion hits. Leaks happen in the music business. Sadly, there's oftentimes no avoiding it, especially when artists announce their album and single release dates way ahead of time, which is why so many artists just haven't told the public their plans in recent years. Though she wasn't the first, Beyonce is seen as the artist who popularized the surprise drop approach to album releases when her self-titled album just appeared overnight in 2013. No press, no social media announcement, no nothing. Just boom, an album. Today, surprise albums are kind of the norm, thanks to other artists who adopted the trend like Drake, Rihanna, and Ariana Grande. Heck, just last week, Eminem surprised the world with a midnight drop of not only his latest album, Music To Be Murdered By, but also with the deeply disturbing video for his song, Darkness, that details the mind of the Las Vegas shooter. But even the surprise drop gimmick seems to have run its course this past year, artists started reverting back to the more traditional lead-up to releasing their work. Halsey has given her fans a four-month lead into her third album, Manic. The Jonas Brothers waited almost a decade to release new music together and still gave fans two months of anticipation before releasing Happiness Begins. Even Beyonce has abandoned the practice. The Beehive was given a few days notice before she released the Lion King companion album, The Gift. So why the shift? Well, record labels want to build hype for artists, and that's hard to do when fans don't know new material is on its way. Also, many artists like Travis Scott have started bundling their albums with merch and concert ticket sales. Dropping an album, a t-shirt, and a tour in one surprise swoop has proven to not be the most profitable method. And yet, the lead-in means the hackers know when the new material is coming as well, hence the leaks. But what about Lady Gaga? The singer hasn't officially announced a new album or single, so how did anyone know new music was on its way? Well, Gaga's monsters think she's been dropping hints on social media like this tweet. She wrote, hashtag LG6, my assistant, when's the last time you bathed? Me? I don't remember. Hashtag LG6 is clearly a reference to her sixth album, and Gaga didn't say why she hasn't showered, but working on new music is certainly an excuse to skip the shower. I mean, not a great one, but a dedicated one nonetheless. Plus, fans have pointed out this photo Gaga shared back in October. At first glance, the image is just the singer having a little Halloween fun with friends, but if you look over to the bottom right corner, a fan caught Gaga's phone immediately, and she told us the name of the song in October, and none of us listened. Yep, Gaga had already released the name of the single, Stupid Love was hidden in plain view. So no wonder why she wasn't mad the song was leaked, and hey, we aren't either. 
This means we're one step closer to LG6. Don't you think Gaga should just go ahead and release it now? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And also, which do you prefer? A surprise album drop or a traditional announcement and lead in? Let us know. And hit that subscribe button because Clever News is on top of all the latest album releases, even the unplanned ones. Also, be sure to click right over here for even more Clever. Thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Drew Dorsey, and I'll see you next time.